to another episode of Eden Burning. I just wanted to start off by saying thank you all so much for your kind words. We're reaching very, very close to a thousand subscribers and every single one of you, you know, cheering me on and all this stuff. Dude, it just brings so much joy and happiness to my life. I, I'm so, so happy, so appreciative of you all. And like I've constantly said, Keep sending me messages, keep commenting on the videos. I will respond to every single one of them. I want to be as active as possible to get to know everybody to the best of my ability. Obviously, that is a little bit difficult, but that does not mean that I'm not going to give it the true try. Not the college kids try, the true try. Oh, it's just, it's surreal. I, I, I can't, I have no words. It's crazy. Um, but now we are back here in eating burning so we need to uh do a couple things we so and the forest oh, are in God, the okay. right now we are both suffering yes i can clearly see that considering how we're greatly de 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 decreasing on the air quality i haven't had my coffee so bear with me uh okay so the tool factories are definitely a problem base regeneration is also a thing and then the Perforian generator that we're currently working on is also a thing. Okay, so uh, many of the herbs used by our doctors are taken from the forest, but many are beginning to disappear. Something must be done in, to ensure the health of the people. We'll gather what's left in the forest and make an herb garden in the village. Uh, Sugarcane juice make for excellent restorative. No, herbs, we got something more important to deal with. Affects all hospital lack of herbs. Uh, yeah, if just grab what we can. we in the forest, we'll bring the forest to us. Find medicinal herbs. Okay, where, where can I find some medicinal herbs? Do I even have any in here? Is that a... That's not an herb. What the heck? Okay, so, like, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't really care. Oh, there we go. If you can gather any botanical knowledge in the herbarium, my people could find a practical use for it. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted. I needed the medicinal herbs. Where the heck? Well, what the heck happens if you don't do this? Gather the most essential herbs from the forest to preserve the village. Okay, well, we gotta find them in the forest, at least the forest that I haven't chopped down yet. Uh, what's this? That's some coal. Okay, that's definitely not medicinal herbs. Uh, this kind of sucks. And I can't get rid of the trees in order to see it. This reminds me of year one where Zed's like, I'm not the greatest hunter or gatherer or gatherer. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's one. Uh, that, this really, there, there's some additional ones there. Man, these are hard to find. Feel like you have to like tilt the camera in a particular way in order to do this i just want one more herb please please i'm begging you well i mean if it's gonna be over there it's gonna be over there then oh there we go it saddens me that the forest is so depleted but the herb garden looks wonderful Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's your silver lining. It saddens so, me that the forest is so depleted, but the herb garden looks wonderful. She just said that. Hello? Okay, well, I need to actually get up to Averas probably in order to do that. And the fish is now a problem, again. So that means I'm going to have to probably build another one of these aqua farms. And I'm going to spin it around like this. Yep, that's probably the best thing to do. And we are going to build a road connection over to here, so that way we can get what we need. I'm still waiting on that 20 tons of corn, because I can't put another corn farm here. I could probably put one over here, and it should be fine. It's not within the radius, right? At least I don't believe that it would affect it that much. But we can put this here and see what happens. Uh, please tell me you have enough. Please, no kidding. Okay, let's fix the road then. Put the road to here, and then we're gonna fix this. 
And we're going to put... Literally, I have to change an entire road out for two more plots. That's it. And then how are we looking for the tools? We have 51 of the tools. We're pretty much going up with work clothes little by little. But it's, it's that. It's just terrible. I might not actually be able to fulfill that mission then. Uh, right. I think we can also build this fishery. And let's get it connected over to here. And definitely have to have another warehouse like right over here for this one. Because we need to actually get up to the Oberas fast. Uh, what are the other things? Because I'm actually thinking about focusing more on the badges this time. Sustain a population of 4,000 Oberas for 10 minutes. Okay, I have 20 tons of herbarium in stock. So how much do we have right now? Uh, total. Miscellaneous goods we have six you can rely on us can i actually that's very nice of you to say is there anything over here i feel like there's an island there's an island over there how come i haven't been to this one Halyard sheets and braces get over here let's see what that's all about i really want this fish to go up what the oh so what's happening here okay so chance of illness so it wasn't actually a building it's just a modifier good to know i i I saw that thing. Oh, 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 we can upgrade them. We can upgrade them. Holy crap. Sorry. We will help you build something better. Fantastic. I lo you love to see it. Okay, there we go. Perfect. With our settlement established, work on the dam can begin. Okay, cool. Drip coffee pot. Cool. So, we need the coffee, and then we also need the iron mine. How in the world are we meant to, like, Whoa, 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 whoa. My air quality is already bad. How am I supposed to navigate a charcoal kiln? Oh, Lord. Yeah, steelworks, that's going to be fun. Uh, tortillas. I wouldn't be a rebel if I settled for this. All right, calm down. Calm down. Relax. Okay, maybe we, uh, we should probably work on the hospital. Because I don't want people getting sick now. Where am I going to put it, though? That's the real question. I think if I alter this one right here a little bit, might be able to stuff one over here, which is going to be pretty good because you're on this side of the island. And then the other one will probably be over here because one of the major things with these scenarios is that you do not ever want to deal with illnesses. I, when I was trying out another time for the um, Seasons of Silver one, ha both of my islands... Like for, I think it was um, Vazio and Prata, both of them had the largest disease outbreak. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. I feel like I just want to start working on this, but I don't even have enough of these guys. Well, I, I guess I don't need all these Abraris, do I? Here. Bring them down just a little bit. How are we looking on the tools? Because the tools also... Our stuff that we need. We're going up with it, but it's just... Alright, we are at another island over here. Let's see if there's anything that we can potentially find. Oh, clean some fishing nets. Stations! Seriously? Are, are you serious? You're, you're right there! You have to go all the way around? A turtle trapped oh. in the nets. He barely has the strength to struggle any longer. No! I ought to take it somewhere safe. You... Absolutely! Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We're taking the Steady turtle. Her course. We're taking the turtle. I want the turtle. Make sail. I, I don't like the fact that my air quality is going down this much. And this thing is going to take a while to actually get rid of. Uh, You know what? In the meantime, let's start getting rid of some of the other stuff. I think what we are going to have to do is get a couple more of these Forester Huts going. Yeah, I, I want to say that these things are actually going to impact the air quality if we have more trees around. So let's just put one over here. We're going to put another one. Where's some? I saw 29. There we go. Put another one over here. Do they need to have Watch. a rook connection? No, they don't. So they just need to be there. They need to be present. Okay. And then... Uh, You've returned. Did you find anything useful? I did, indeed. I found a turtle. Some of my people may be able to help. 
I will let you know if the turtle recovers. Oh, okay. I hope he's okay. I I want the turtle. Uh, let's see. So air quality, okay, so yeah, the four seeders are definitely good for air quality. Heavy industry, so we're actually going to have to use these, that's for sure. Effects of forests or huts, plus one trees and eco quality impact plus two. So this is actually going to help us when we have more trees over here. And I can kind of see the predicament with this one. Also, us like getting rid of all these trees over here. So the more trees that we have is definitely going to be for the best. You have no trees in range. That's unfortunate. You got to go. Right. We also have one more aqua farm. And I would like to see our corn is going up. So that's pretty good. I feel like I might be able to fit a banana plantation in here. Or plantain plantation. I might be able to. I think so. We have enough room over here. I played in the new world enough to know that you need to like utilize every little bit of space that you can find, really. Base regeneration, forest station. How much uh what do I have? Okay, you know what? Let's let's do this. Let's let's just stop. Let's stop all of this woodcutting production let's just stop this let's get the trees back and see what happens because these guys are gonna need to work a little bit and then these things while they are working which is very very good okay so we are also decreasing on our water quality that i'm not as worried about because i can just put down another the water purifier rescued has made the most remarkable recovery yes it's been swimming in the chilton and eating the algae in the water too Nice, man! Awesome! I was hoping we would see the forest regenerate, but this foul smog is choking the trees. Okay, what do we do then? Okay, uh, the heavy smog is damaging our plants and trees. The soot accumulating on the leaves is seriously affecting their growth. Something must be done or our reforestation efforts will be severely slowed. Forces have to double their work for a while. Yeah, I think that might be it. We need to increase the air quality. No kidding, okay? Like, actually, no kidding. There are still plenty of trees left. Well, there are, but I think we're going to have to double it the It will be efforts. a lot of work to maintain the forest, but worthwhile. Yeah, well, well <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures, I dare say. Now, uh, this thing, I kind of want to start it. We have enough timber to begin with this. We can get the bricks. We just don't have the workforce, and nor do we have enough of the tools. We kind of just need to get up to Abreras, right? So reduce them, right? And then reduce these guys. I want to get up to at least 600 because I know I'm also working on getting rid of this thing. And that's going to take about, what, six minutes? Okay. And then I think we should be good to start on this. So let's just go ahead and start it. If I need to build a couple more homes, I will. It's not a big deal actually go ahead and do just that i will put a couple over here and you know what we'll do we'll just do this little block like this and then loop that around build some more looking good this is a water pump we're gonna have to build that for sure okay so these guys should be working faster to plant some trees that's pretty good I wonder what happens if it goes all the way to zero. Like, do you actually get, like, a major debuff? See, this is one thing I agree with Robert in, in this scenario. Um, they did add very interesting gameplay mechanics to this one that I wish they would have implemented into the base game. Like, I think the idea of the water purifiers is pretty cool, along with these water pumps. But they just, I don't know why they didn't. Because it looks like a cool building, you know? It, it's really nice adds a little bit of additional flavor plus it's a cool way to get some more people into your homes really but i don't know why they didn't uh i'm not gonna waste money on or not necessarily money i'm not gonna waste resources on getting another one of these things built i'll just or upgrading that one i'm just gonna build one right next to it and i love the fact that they're going all the way to this warehouse when there's one actually closer there's one right there. Please. 
a little bit like this is the stuff in the scenarios that will mess you up okay 100 percent it's they go to the farther one they can't go to this one but okay no i get it i get it it's just i'm i'm the lunatic no, nothing else New all right orders, Admiral. i think there's a little island or something over here because i can kind of see a little hill so I'm going to try to get to it and see what's over here. I don't know if there's anything else back over here. I don't think so. I went to practically everything. Best way to figure that out is to really like pan the camera. And if you see anything just sticking out, just go there. But we need to also explore these Mizoan temples. I have a feeling um, the Mizoan pyramid stood for centuries. Some say it houses an ancient calendar, but if you have ventured inside to look for it. Well, how do we do that? The wall carvings show the Mizoans resources and enclosed structures. Those buildings don't match the ones on this island, though. Uh, on the walls, faded figures who seem to be entrancing around sanding stones lead to an open door. You don't remember seeing such stones on the island, though. Huh. What does it say here? Oops. Ancient carvings depict the smaller islands surrounding... La Zoltana. Or is, La Z is that Zoltuna? Zoltuna? I think it's Zoltuna. Uh, but accompanying text is indecipherable. That's terrible. Okay, the ancient Mazoan Chutlin new home tool. Oh, this is where he is! Oh, nice! The turtle's here! Cool, man. Okay, well, that's really nice. Our air quality is still really bad. Uh, right. Do these things actually impact air quality? Or is it just, uh... It was the water, wasn't it? Yeah, that's impacting water quality. Counteracting pests and all that stuff, yeah. I just have a feeling we have to wait and write this out until we get rid of the actual generator. Because the forestation, it's it's taking time. That's the problem. So we need to actually be over here, beyond this threshold. Acid rain risk. Oh, that's not good. Desertification. Okay, air pollution causes acid rain, destroying crops and trees. Oh, boy. Okay, here. We are going to... You should go sit in the shade, boss. Let's stop these brick factories, because I don't want to have acid rain. Thank you very much. Uh, tool factory, also... Yeah, no, I'm good. Alright, so we stopped it for the time being. I think we can keep it like this until we get this behemoth uh, completely removed. Because when we have this thing gone, that's minus 12. Okay. And then we'll be able to have a little bit more wiggle room. Actually, you know what? We do not need three of these things. We can just have two. And I think that'll be just good enough. Okay, you're done... So we only have this one, and you only have six trees remaining, which kind of sucks. What's happening here? Okay, so that's that's okay. So I'm just trying to manage how many of these we can have at any given time below. But I I'm... shouldn't have asked so much. Okay, you you see what I'm trying to deal with over here? Why is everyone so mean to me today? Like, honestly. There's room over here. I want to build some more homes, I guess. I can't have that for so much. Well, excuse me. I'm kind of dealing with an ecological crisis over here. Gotta fix the road, otherwise it's gonna bother me. Let's get this done here. I'm going to fix this one up too, so get rid of this one. I'm gonna need a marketplace over here. And then we're going to need a chapel. Chapel should not be facing that direction. Should be facing this direction. And then we are also going to need a water pump. I think if I fix up this road, then it will look nicer. Great. Okay, so we got rid of another one of the Perforian ruins. I worked here for a time. Oh, here we go. The oil never truly washes off. Why did she say that and then smile? Now I'm very confused. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's just staying steady. Alright. That thing has to go. 
like real bad. And I need to figure out what to do with all these Mizoan uh, temples and whatnot. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything over here. Stations. Is there anything to do with this wreckage over here? No. I thought there was a Perforian or something around here. Wasn't there? Unless they changed it. I mean, I haven't played this scenario in quite some time, so I have no clue. I want to check, like, every single one of the islands that I've been to. Oh! Keep her constant! Salvage from the Perforian wreck. I didn't even see this one. Uh, this side, we dealt with everything here, I guess, which was just to get that core turtle out of the net. Yeah, I, I distinctly remember there was a guy. Is he here? I, I don't see anything. He had like a little um, makeshift tent or whatnot. I mean, I could be wrong. It wouldn't be the first time, that's for sure. Nothing's here. I don't see anything within the fog. That was a horrid delay. No. Did they remove him? Or is I'd make better Whoa. use of this than they did. Copper and some timber. Okay, cool, cool. Nothing's going on over here. Nothing seems to be happening around here. Not that I can see. Yeah. Or what's... No, we already did this one. Yeah, so apparently that guy maybe... Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not here. Because I already came here. That's the Mizoan Ruin. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of intriguing. I thought there was a guy here before. Make sale! Hmm. Odd. Now we're looking back here. So we're getting some of the trees back. That's pretty good. And I think the fish is holding steady. We can actually get some of those items now because we do actually have enough corn. And I do want to do that for the air quality specifically. So we can't get this one. Uh, I want impacts on the eco quality. How still and silent the trees are. Without the monkey swinging through them. I don't know. Okay, deforestation is affecting the monkey population, which in turn is hindering the growth of the forest, as monkeys play a key role in the seed dispersal. The forest will grow thinner and less abundant if we do not act. We must let the forest regenerate so the monkeys can return and thrive. Uh, we'll supply the foresters with fertilizer to accelerate the regeneration of the trees. I think that's honestly a good idea. Monkeys are smart enough to take care of themselves. That's messed up. No, thank you. This will cost us. But if it means we restore the habitats of these wonderful creatures, it will be worth it. Okay. Oh, so we actually have, like, some tree planters. So we actually need to get those coffee farms up and running really fast, then. Ready the ropes. Okay. Let's, uh, let's work on that, then. Because I definitely want to get some coffee. We were going up for, like, a second, and we're kind of doing just that uh we have some room over here let's get some coffee because i want to get this uh drip coffee pot factory uh yeah let's get a might actually be able to do it all the way back here because we can't have the farms right next to one another let's get this over here 84 farm fields actually not bad go to here and then we'll have a road connection going to here. Build up that coffee plantation. So we shouldn't build right next to it per se, but we can put another one like right over here. And then we should be all right. That way we can actually utilize the space properly. Very nice. Uh, we need iron. I think that one's all out. If they don't bring some first. Replenish resource using an iron deposit refiller. Really? Where do you get one of those? What are you for? Where's the iron deposit refiller? Do I have one of those? Oh, that's for extra goods. Water purifier, all heavy industry. You know what? I should actually consider using these things. 
Affects aqua farm. Eco quality. Affects fishery. Minus 45%. Ooh, that's terrible. Well, you know what? I have a perfectly good iron mine right over here. But uh, I'm scared to actually, like, <laughs> do anything because I do not want to have acid rain. Thank you very much. Well, I mean, these are technically heavy industry. So, where was that one? That's for the water purifier. Workforce need, eco quality impact, minus 50%. That is pretty substantial. Where is that trade union? It's right here, right? So what were to happen if I actually, instead of putting it for the farm fields, put it for the industry? I think that might actually be better. Let's put it right over here. But I'm going to have to activate at least one of these to get a couple more bricks. They don't need here. us. Yeah, you're going to start, aren't you? I can just get a couple bricks. Uh, I don't have enough people to get rid of this other Perforian Ruin, but I can build some more. And you're done anyway, so you might as well just shoot. Road here. Please tell me that's enough. No, it's not. That's unfortunate. Get this road connection to here, please. And then fix that up. Get this, thank you. And all of these. All of these. And all of these. Good. So we need more people to deal with the ruins. Okay. Doesn't look great over there, but it's whatever. I'm looking up the farms. Hola. It's still like it's a minute. I don't like that at all. Uh, fire station. I think we're okay. What do you need for the electric cables? You need a copper mine, and then you need caoutchouc plantation. Oh, okay. We have some cables, but how are you looking on this thing? Yeah, we gotta get some bricks over here. Okay. You know what? I'm risking it. I, I, I have to do it. 10 minutes for that thing. I can potentially stop the tool factory. No, I can't. Well, I mean, I don't even have enough in here. I should care about it. There we go. I'll just stop it. Try to balance that out as much as possible. That's insane. I'm you actually stressing out over this. I, I don't know if you can tell, but probably you can. Uh, what other items can we get in here? That's for crop farms. Is there, does she even sell like item items? Gathering knowledge in libraries is a venerable Mesoan tradition. Though ours has rapidly become a modern research institute. Okay. It's where we developed the design for the dam. Oh, you did? That's kind of cool. I'm, I'm trying to see if there's, like, anything over here. So, like, that's the X marks the spot thing. So, I mean, we already went here. We already went here. And the dude was not here. And then we get... You know what? Let me, um... Keep her constant. Oh, let's interact with this Mazoan pillar. Maybe that's what's going to open it up. Maybe. I, I have no clue. We're going to find out. Unfortunately, you know what? Stop this, because I don't want them to keep getting the materials that I need. I need this actual trade union up so I can get these things running and not have acid rain pouring all over our heads. That's just terrible. Uh, get rid of this, and then there's one more back here. Get rid of that. So we're getting rid of the last two remaining ruins, and I think I figured out this whole Mazoan thing, which is oh, what's this? Ah, the Wakachan. Its trunk is a caiman that turned to stone while upright. You can still see the scales. Oh wow. Abuelito, that's the wrong story. The tree represents the whole forest. The forest that feeds us, shelters us, protects us. 
the same force that is well, rapidly that is decaying. Well, that's one interpretation. I was taught that during the Great Flood, this tree alone stood above the waves, a refuge for the virtuous. Okay, anybody else want to weigh in? No? That's it? That's where we're leaving it? Okay. <laughs> Can't really do much more about that. Well, not too much of an eventful episode today, but I think uh, we should at least build the drip coffee pot thing uh, so we can start with this production. I cannot Maybe actually okay. upgrade them because now they don't have tools and they don't have enough fish. So we're going to work on that in the next episode. This, this scenario is a lot more stressful to me than the other one. And I think it's based off of just the chains. And the fact you need to, like, actually balance all these things, the island health. But in the next episode, we should see the end of the Perforian Generator and definitely the increase of our air quality. So that's going to be very, very good. But until next time, please consider like, commenting, subscribing, hitting that bell button, sharing it with your friends. Thank you so much for being here and supporting the channel. Getting very close to a 1,000 subscribers. It's, it's just incredible. Thank you all. And I will catch you on the next episode, my Rantians.